split squats. So there are a couple different variations of split squats that you can do. Some are quad focused, some are glute focused. You need to figure out which one feels best for you and discuss with your coach what type of variation they want you doing if you either want to target your glutes, your quads, or just your legs in general. So using something for balance is 110% okay. It does not make you less of a person. It is going to help you fatigue the muscle even more because you're not worried about wobbling around. So if you have access to something that you can rest your non-working hand on during a split squat, great. If not, and you are having trouble with balance, remember to keep your core tight and look at one thing in front of you that does not move. So there's a couple different variations. I'm going to show you the glute focus split squat first. This is the one that I absolutely love. It might not work for you. So I am going to stand fairly close. I'm gonna tuck this one away. Fairly close to the bench. Pop my back foot onto the bench behind me. This can be a coffee table, a box, a machine, whatever you want. You can also come up on your toe if you find that it feels better for you. So play around see what works best because this one is glute focused. When I'm up on my toe, I can already feel my quad flexing right now. So I'm going to put my toe down. With this, I'm now going to hinge at the hips and focus on sending my hips back towards the bench down here and then sending my hip and my body forward and up. So it's not straight up and down, it's hips back, hips forward. When you are doing this weighted, you want to take the dumbbell in your opposite hand. So right now I'm working my left leg. I'm going to use my right hand to hold the dumbbell. I'm going to come down. You're going to have to hop around and find what works best for you. So here I'm focusing on sending my knee and my hips down towards the base. And that, I don't feel any sort of stretch here. So you don't want to be using your back leg to drive your foot in to come up. All of the weight's going to be on your front foot. So from here, my core is tight. I drop my chest to my knee, and it's hip forward, hip back. Hip forward, hip back. And this, I find, really lights up my glutes, especially if you think about externally rotating that thigh bone on the raise and coming back down. So my core is tight here. This is only for balance. I can use just a finger. I'm not pressing myself up. It's only this leg that's moving. Now, if you want to make this more quad focused, instead of leaning forward and hinging at the hip, you can come up on your toe, keep it flat, and then you're going to stay more upright. So as I drop down, I'm going to come down until I feel a stretch in my back quad, and then push evenly through my, the ball of my foot and my heel. So it's down and up fully straightening at the top for the full quad contraction. If you find that you're still feeling it too much in your back leg and not your front leg, you can go even lower with what you're resting your foot on. So here we have a slight wedge where you can pop your foot on this. So that just comes down to limb length. Some people have shin bones that are too long where it doesn't feel good if it's way too high, or if you have a couch and you're doing this at home, having your foot way up here, not really comfortable. So you're going to prop your back foot up here, grab that dumbbell again, and you can go this way as well. It just allows you to get more depth at the bottom to really contract that muscle. So you kind of want to think like a compass where you're going north and south and not up and down. And all of this, for the most part, should still be on that front leg. Give it a try. See what works best for you, but do not hesitate to reach out to your coach with either a form video or booking a video call to see the best variation for you.